Hello everyone, this is me, Sanya here, and I'm back with the next 10 days of October reads start from the 11th through the 20th of October 2024. This reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio, let's see what's coming through for you for this time frame. Just be mindful, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what's coming through for you for this time frame. Let's find out. We do have the princess. Wow. We do have the wisdom with the owl. Let's see one more card. We do have the blocked. Hmm. You do have the prince. Wow, you're dealing with your um your destined partner, your divine counterpart. Um, I really feel like you know for for some of you, uh, there might be difficulties between you and this person right now. Maybe you and them are blocked to have what you truly desire to have with each other. But at the same time, this is something which is destined to happen. I really feel like you know for majority of you, whoever it is that you are dealing with, Scorpio, um, this person and you are meant to be together. Um, right now, maybe you're living your separate lives. You are, you know, detached, uh, separated in a no contact situation, having difficulties with each other. You pursuing your things, they pursuing their things. But at the same time, you're destined to be together. So there is no point that the two of you are going to stay away from each other anymore. I really feel like, you know, right now, maybe you're having difficulties uh, in this relationship. Um, but you and this person are maturing up with this experience that you are having with each other i really feel like you know for a majority of you your life with each other is being blocked by it can be black magic it can be dark energies it can be evil energies it can be um evil eye coming from like you know maybe jealousies coming from the other people around you but i really feel like you know somebody's sabotaging your relationship and it's it's a, a third party influence is what i see here it can be a person who uh, who has like custard some sort of a uh, a spell on the two of you or it can also be like just the jealousy factor which has influenced your love life with this person in a negative way but whatever the case is right now i really feel like you know there will be some difficulties that i see are kind of like you know prevailing in your relationship right now during this time frame but having said that um you and your person are learning from this experience so probably this experience is something that you have to go through to learn more about what you truly deeply feel for each other but at the same time i really feel like you know you are um their destined counterpart so whatever difficulties that you're going through right now it's gonna come to an end um it's it, it's, it's more like like you're, you're you're having a dark night of your life with this person right now but soon things gonna be like um you know um ending which which are blocking your relationship right now um i really feel like you know for some of you uh you and your person can sense that too like you know um whatever blockages that you're having right now in your relationship you can sense that um it's it's not something how it should be it's definitely uh because of the influence of some some um you know um some evil energies or something like that because i really feel like you know you know that um you and them had a very perfect kind of relationship and uh that's something which um you know and you really don't know what what made this relationship fall apart to be honest and i really feel like you know that's exactly what you might be uh dealing with during this time as well uh but I, at the same time i really see you um kind of like you know living your life the the perfect way in in a graceful way uh, without like complaining to each other about whatever happened so i really see the two of you detached but at the same time you still have the soft corner for each other, but at the same time, you are not like, you know, pursuing each other in any possible way. You are keeping yourself distant and that's the way to go about it right now. So I really don't see that you could complaining to them. They are complaining to you about anything. You're letting things happen. So what is that going to do is you are going to gracefully uh, walk past this uh, situation that is happening between the two of you, which is not positive. At the same time, you would still have the respect for each other and you're going to be like letting things happen letting things unfold so there is something which is keeping the two of you apart right now but it is something that's not going to be the case for for long to be honest so um be prepared for a reunion that might come through within like probably the next 10 days time but um you know in the in the coming 10 days i really feel like you know from 11 the 20th you will have your your relationship kind of blocked uh, by some circumstantial uh situations coming in from from you know these evil works or something but 
um, you are going to be okay with it. Your partner is going to be okay with it. You are going to let things unfold naturally. You're not going to be chasing after anyone. And that's the way to go about it. Let's see what else is coming through for you in your life during this time frame. I really feel like you're, you're, um, this time to kind of like, you know, you are pre pretty much in sync with this person still. Even if you are in a no contact situation, you can pick them and their energies up easily without any effort you can sense that uh and there is something that's connecting you that you know the two of you still together but at the same time yes there are some lessons that you need to learn from this experience that you're having and you're okay with that i really see uh the feminine here being very strong and um you know the masculine here is being very focused to something or the other so we do have the resilience i really feel like you know again that i said um you know i said the same thing i really feel like you know um you and this person are just gonna be um moving forward with grace you are not gonna back off from this connection you're not gonna be like um making any decision about it as at the same time you or the person that you're dealing with they can still dream about the future together but at the same time not taking any action towards each other so you would rather try to take a break from this connection and let things unfold wherever you know the two of you are designed to go you are gonna let that happen because you and this person are probably twin flames or soulmates things gonna just work out so you are just gonna be like ready to let things happen when the time is right so let's see what else is happening here for you in your life during this time frame but you're definitely dealing with your divine counterpart Ambush fear with your ferocious dream. The divine really wants you to take action towards what you want, what you desire. And you really have to kick out the fear from the equation and uh, live the dream that you want to live. Create the life that you want to create. Don't back off from what you want, what you desire. I really feel like, you know, deep down, regardless of the circumstantial blocks and, uh, you know, other other influences the two of you still have the same feelings and same emotions towards each other and i really feel like your love life is going to be definitely you know something on your mind on your on your uh, uh you know um, on your mind for for this time frame uh having said that you would be doing your thing they would be doing their thing um you would continue dreaming about the future you would continue um um you know dreaming about um you know what you truly desire uh around your other areas of your life you're not going to stop your life or hold your life for for the situation to unfold uh you are just going to keep moving forward with grace and that's exactly what is going to make things easier for the two of you to um handle during this uh, tough time when the two of you are not together so yeah let's see what else is coming through what else is coming through what else is coming through you are living poetry i really feel like you know for a majority of you your your situation in your life right now is more like a poetry i really feel like you know it's, it's something that you um it's something which is which is naturally taking place in your life right now and you're not kind of resisting anything you're just letting it flow you're letting it uh, flow through through your experiences with the with each other and you're not trying to hold yourself back from living anything at all i really feel like you know, you're just in sync with the uh, flow of life and you're letting things happen um you're not holding um yourself back from living the life that you want to live nor your your person is holding themselves back from living the life that they want to live um meanwhile yes you both feel that void between the two of you but at the same time you are okay with it you have a sense of um belonging to each other which is keeping this uh, situation pretty much um in control you are epic i really feel like you know for a majority of you you are doing your best in life to be honest um and i really don't think that you know apart from your love life apart from your connection with each other i really don't see much um going against the two of you um it's 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 more like maybe you're doing good for yourself the person that you're dealing with is doing good for themselves at the same time you're letting this love life scenario be at rest for now uh, without pursuing it without taking any action towards it you are just doing your things waiting for the right time to to get the two of you back together and being very patient around it and you can do it you can handle the situation in the in the most beautiful way i really see a happy fulfilling family coming along um you know in in, in the regards to this connection that you have with this person it's it's something which is going to happen i really feel like you know for some of you you might have fears around this connection but 
over the period of time, your fears are going to go away. And I really see you uh, keep on dream, dreaming uh, for the kind of future that you want, that you desire with this person. And that's exactly what is going to happen. So your 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 faith, your um, your desire around your faith, uh, so, sorry, your, your faith around your desire, it's, it's something which is going to be like, you know, coming to fruition for you. So you would not have to um, deal with um, any unwanted situation within the situation. I really feel like, you know, you are letting things unfold because you know that there is something like, you know, I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, you and your partner, they are aware of the blockages between the two of you. And it's not about you and them. It's about circumstances. And you are letting things unfold. You are not like, you know, um, going to blame each other for anything. Maybe you did that in the past, but with the wisdom card here, it seems like you have matured up and you're letting things just get better over the period of time. And that's the way to go about it. But I really feel like you're definitely dealing with the with the one that you're assigned to be with and everything is going to be okay. But this uh, time frame is going to be certainly uh, something where you and your partner is definitely going to be like staying away. So there's not going to be much happening in your love life. But yes, the sense of belonging stays there between the two of you. So yeah, that's what I see coming through for you for this uh, time frame. If it was of help, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Till I do the next read. Take care. Bye.